Hey Sagittarius! Happy November! Thanks for coming by for your monthly reading. I'm Madeline, if we haven't met before, and if you're back, extra high. <laughs> Thanks for coming! Alright, so the first thing I really want to say to you Sagittarius is bon voyage! Um, we haven't seen any of your cards yet. When I sat down to, you know, meditate and do my shuffle thing before we get on camera, um, Spirit came straight through with a channeled message and it was this really, um, really gorgeous vision of a train. A train just puffing along along the countryside. And Spirit said, bon voyage. And here's what they were giving me about a train in specific. When do we take a train? It's when we really want to enjoy the scenery along the way. Maybe we want to take the slow way. You know what I mean? Maybe we, maybe there's some stuff to see along the journey. Maybe there's some people to meet along the journey. Now they're reminding me, oh no, I'm going to blank on the title. They're reminding me of a Richard Linklater film. People, if you know, please drop it in the comments. I'm going to Google it like almost immediately so that I can link it here. Um, oh my gosh, is it Before Sunset? Might be Before Sunset. And there's Ethan Hawke is on a train. I'm just going to leave it there. Feels like a significant film for some of you to see, but also just this metaphor of being on the journey, enjoying the journey, and going somewhere. You're on your way. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to see certain cards maybe in here that speak to me of travel. Maybe Three of Wands, maybe the world, even if some of you are maybe like going overseas or making those kind of plans. Let's find out. Bon voyage. Either way, wherever you're going, internal, external, looks like a bon voyage. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, Sagittarius. Bon voyage because the, the last chapter is closed. But I'm going to shut up now and lay out your cards and then we're going to talk about it. All right. Boy, you've been waiting to talk about it, huh, Sagittarius? <sighs> okay. <sighs> all right, all right. Bon voyage. In the future. Mm-hmm. Enjoying the journey. Taking it as gently as possible. Okay. Sagittarius. The first thing that I really want to tell you is it's going to get better. Some of you are straight up going through maybe even like a breakup or a big departure, which makes complete sense, Spirit saying bon voyage, and you can see the cards for yourself. The Five of Swords crossing death with the Three of Swords in your past. Now, happily, that's in your past, but it does speak of pain. It speaks of separation. It speaks of even possibly like a feeling of... Um, they're speaking to me about isolation. And this may be why they're showing me this vision of getting on a train and they're even giving me the movie Before Sunset where this person is kind of on a very personal reflective journey. And a personal reflective journey does not mean that you end up alone. Um, not going to spoil the, the movie, but again, I'll just leave that there. Maybe see it. It feels like you are feeling... Troubled by your thoughts. A lot of heavy, maybe some anxiety, maybe some feelings of that person or the situation like this is a betrayal and I have been like left out or cast aside or spurned. Um, you know, the Five of Swords is a really painful card, almost to me more painful than the Three of Swords and together, you know, ugh. But we're going to talk about it because there is some great beauty, incredible beauty to look forward to. This is a journey that kind of has to be taken. And, you know, sometimes our train gets held up and we have a layover and it fucks up all of our plans, but sometimes that also can create some divine opportunities. So I want to say be really gentle with yourself right now, Sagittarius. It's clear that you've been working really hard um, and you've been through it. Like, it's been stressful. Stress and work and, like, I feel like 
the universe is sort of conspiring to send you on this journey, whether internal or external. Um, every external journey is a reflection of our internal journey anyway. So what are you experiencing right now? And how could you address and take care of yourself about it? Meaning, this isn't something that someone else uh, can fix or fulfill. Even if maybe some of you think that's what this is, is like, no, if this person would just call me or come back or apologize, then I would feel better. Um, but I kind of want to say that this is something that needs to be worked through internally, whether or not this person comes back, whether or not this situation actually like resolves with like apologies and, and everyone coming together, which I actually see that for some of you it really can. This is showing up as the conclusion and the key, but clarified by this. What does that mean? What do these people have in common? One way or another, they are choosing um, to blind themselves. And that's not a judgment. Spirit, everything Spirit says is from love. And of course, Sagittarius, I should remind you, these are, of course, general readings. So some of these things are going to apply to you. Some of them are applying to other Sagittarians. And if something doesn't resonate with you, then try not to worry about it. Um, this is anxiety. This is anxiety and therefore like stalemating yourself. Like, I don't want to make the wrong decision. What if I walk away and they don't come back? Or what if they walk away? Or, or like, uh, and basically getting stuck, stuck in your head. And the, the good, the very positive thing about both of these cards is when I say that you're blinding yourself, again, that's not a judgment. That is like, you might be abdicating your throne a little bit. You might be forgetting how strong you are a little bit. There is something better out there for you. And I don't say that as just a generic, you know, yeah, things are great, keep positive. I don't mean that. The world, this heartbreak, this separation, this ending, death, this death, this chapter closed, this is what's sending you out further. <laughs> it's funny, Spirit just said further and farther. And I have a, jour <laughs> a journalism geek, like, uh, if it, further means, you know, like, uh, I'm further, my goal is a little further down the line, but, you know, the convenience store is farther down the line. Do you know what I'm saying? One is like kind of an abstract concept and one is an actual thing. You're getting further and farther in November. But it's kind of like you have to choose to walk through the fire. It's kind of like the power is in choosing to walk through the door. That's taking your power back. So maybe if you've been hesitating or maybe if you've been holding, even, okay, this is how they're putting it, and this is going to sound a little nuts, but stick with me. Let me explain. If you've been holding out hope, it's like, let go. But that doesn't mean it's because there's no hope. It means it's because it's time for you to be working on you, taking care of you, especially I'm really feeling like kind of like work, your career path is looking fantastic. Queen of Pentacles representing you, but again, in, in that sort of hidden position. Um, maybe you used to feel a little more in control. Maybe you used to feel a little more on top of things and you're not right now. Go easy on yourself. This is a time to be gentle. This is a time to be moderate. This is time not to go to extremes. Abandoning hope just means I'm not gonna put my focus there. Where is it useful to put my focus? Not on the past and not on my, you know, uh, wounds unless it's to heal them. I don't wanna wield my wounds, I wanna heal my wounds. That's what they're saying super clearly. And Sagittarius, you're a bright, funny, happy soul. Happy-go-lucky is your default. Like, trust the journey. Trust the journey is what they just said. That can be hard to do when you're stressing out and when you feel like things aren't going right. And I get it. We're human. You know what I mean? Like, I can tell you to be spiritual and I can tell you, you know, and it's true, like, try to invoke your higher self, 
try to go, you know, to the bird's eye view of like, what is this teaching me? What is this showing me? What is this offering me? I can tell you to do that. And I would like, that's great advice. But I also want to tell you, it's totally fucking okay and essential to be human and to feel your feelings. The thing is, this isn't so much showing me you feeling your feelings as thinking, thinking, thinking about your feelings. And that's where we can get disconnected. You know what I mean? Like, we've only, we've only got a couple of cups here. We have one actual cups card, the six of cups, but sitting in the position of where you find yourself, here are a couple more reminding you, hey, hey, be gentle. What are you feeling right now? What you're feeling, recognizing it, is what can be the crown of your success. It may feel like, hey, you know, we could just paint in a little train right here. Because that's kind of how it looked in, in the vision they gave me. was like these green hills and then this long track off into the distance. Long curve that this train is taking. Be gentle. There's a point where if we can accept, like, this is where I am right now. There's a little bit of breath and looseness that frees up when we do that. And when we're like, all right, if this person or this opportunity didn't come through, then that's creating the room for me to, well, like focus on taking care of myself a little better. Am I drinking enough water? Am I getting enough sleep? Going back to the baseline things, especially when you might be feeling heartbreak or anxiety and fear. That's when it's most important to be like, ooh, let me get in touch with myself. You know, this, this angel has one foot on land and one in the water. I mean, that is you, Sagittarius. That's the Sagittarius card. You are best when you are in flow. You are mutable fire, i.e. changeable, adaptable. You're going through an evolution, is what Spirit just said. And I want to tell you that even with all these difficult cards... The future is getting better and better. It does hurt. It is hard. It is a long journey. But you know what the Nine of Wands says is keep going. You're not off path by any means. The journey may look weirder and different, but the journey is what's essential right now. So what do I mean by that? I mean, like, be fucking Alice in Wonderland. A white rabbit, a red queen. What are the signs? Where are they taking me? Start to get a little psychic. You're very psychic as it is, Sagittarius. Tap in. Why not? Maybe part of your temperance I'm going to take care of myself is now I have a new morning ritual where, you know, I pull out my deck of tarot cards and even if I'm not an expert, I just pull out three cards, mind, body, soul, and then I open up the book and I look at what they mean or I, you know, Google it online. Like, but I'm going to do something to get in touch with myself. That's what feels really important. What am I feeling? It's okay to feel what I'm feeling. but feel, <laughs> not thinking, 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 because you're thinking yourself crazy. You're thinking yourself into a rut. There's kind of like a point where it's like, uh, they just like showed me the death card in my mind and they were like, we're telling you, that's a dead end. Don't dissect this thing. You know what I mean? Like post-mortem, it's done. Like the post-mortem is done. There's no need to like continue cutting this up and trying to figure, no. No more autopsy, like, head to the train station, there's a cool journey, a cool destination waiting for you there. A change in plan. A little more fucking fun. And yes, the potential for a reconnection. And if some of you don't want a reconnection, this doesn't have to be that. This is innocence, this is playfulness, this is actually big Sagittarius energy. It's fun, it's innocent, it's happy-go-lucky, it's, it's childlike in the best way. Innocent, even to the point of like naive. And I feel like they're showing me this because some of you might be feeling a little disenchanted. And they're like, don't worry, sometimes we play with the wrong people. And they might end up <sighs> confirming our, some of our worst fears. That's what Spirit just said. So for some of you, this is really intense and this is really catalyzing a big healing for you. But it is necessary and it's worth it. And I highly recommend 
I'm going to, Spirit's really been kind of coming through with this message a lot, but it's, it's like, I'm really going to recommend that you consider your routines and how you're allocating your thoughts, <laughs> your time, your energy, your effort, and how can you redirect some of that effort toward better supporting yourself on this journey. You're heading for the world. You're heading for this feeling of completion, and I get it. And, you know, this lady is flying. She is light-hearted. She is light-hearted, and yet she is also, they're telling me, anchored. And there's also this laurel of victory, the red ribbon of destiny. You're infinite, Sagittarius. And why are you infinite? Because you can do this. When you flow, if you flow these two cups into each other forever, that water never gets stagnant. Your soul is not stagnant. Your mind is all that is a little stagnant. So be sweet to yourself. Be gentle. Put the thoughts somewhere if you need to. But let yourself... And here's a tip. For those of you that might have, like, maybe, especially with all these swords here, I'm feeling some of you might have, like, a lot of air placements in your chart. So that's uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And that can be, like, too thoughtful, too in your head. And regardless if you have those air sign placements or not, it's kind of like that's where you are right now. And um, a really good exercise for if you're like, oh, I don't want to talk about my feelings. Like, yeah, you said it. I'm happy-go-lucky. I don't want to fucking feel my feelings. I don't want to think and write and blah about my feelings. Okay, then how about let's start with sensation. So you might do something again, like pull out, you know, those three cards in the morning or just sit down um, and light a candle and sit for five minutes and just do kind of a body scan. What does my body feel like right now? And maybe you notice when you have a certain thought about a certain person or someone or situation that like, oh, my chest tightened or like I, my head started to ache. Those things can start to be a connection that if you feel into it and you send it a little bit of compassion, that's transformative. That kind of gentle temperance of like, okay, I can... That's the beauty of meditation is kind of like, I can allow that to be there. Like, I woke up sad this morning. Okay, I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to pretend that it's not there. I feel a little sad, but you know what? What can I do? I'm going to take a walk and have a glass of water. I'm going to put on a video of somebody slipping and falling, and I'm going to get on with my day. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you feel into it, you can actually give yourself whatever personal Sagittarian healing remedy that works for you. But those are a few that I was hearing. So what's up, Sagittarius? Let me know. You got stories? You're going places. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. You're on your way. You're on your way. And it's fucking good. Queen of Pentacles, don't forget who you are. Don't forget your worth. Don't forget what you're capable of amidst all these thoughts. Feel into them. See what they're trying to tell you. See where they're coming from. And then remedy that. The situations then and the external will take care of themselves, right? Right now is the time to address the internal and then just be astounded by how your inner work affects your outer world. And that's what Spirit just said. Good stuff! I love it! All right, tell me about it, Sagittarius. I want to know. Um, questions, comments, advice for your fe fellow Sagittarians? Um, I really hope it helps, Sagittarius. Um looks transformative. We're not going to beat around the bush that it's a little tough to, but sometimes those acute points in our life are the ones that really fucking like kick us off. And this looks like one of those to me. I said enough. All right. I'm going to let you reflect on this Sagittarius, but tell me about it. I want to hear. Thank you again for being here. And if I don't see you in a video before then, I hope I see you in December. Bye Sagittarius.